Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. My book, Adhesion Science, Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Adhesion website. In this video, we look at how we should think about adhesion using nine simple graphics. Before we ask how to get stuff to stick, we need to ask why does stuff stick at all? How do we get something like 100 newtons per meter or 500 newtons per meter to get strong adhesion? To answer that, we can look at some negatives. It's not mechanical. The effect of mechanical interlocking that people often talk about is essentially zero. If you don't believe me, then you can read the books by Professor Kevin Kendall of JKR fame, who is equally dismissive of mechanical interlocking as a form of adhesive strength. Surface energy is also too weak. People spend a lot of time talking about surface energy in the context of adhesion. This is largely irrelevant. You can only get about 0.05 newtons per meter from all the dynes that people worry about. It's very surprising to say that surface energy is too weak. We will see that this is indeed the case. How about chemical bonds? Everyone thinks that if you have lots of chemical bonds, you'll get strong adhesion. Well, actually, if you have a pure interface made up of just chemical bonds, you can only get about one newton per meter. And any reasonable number of chemical bonds will only give you 0.1 newton per meter. I, it's not much different from surface energy. This is surprising, but true. Intermingling, when the polymer chains of one surface intermingle with the polymer chains of another surface, starts to help. It gives you something like one newton per meter. And the polymer chains can actually be surface treatment agents on the surface of aluminium or glass. It will certainly help. Entanglement, when the polymer chains are tangled up like a ball of wool, or equivalently when you have cross links around, that starts to give you 100 newtons per meter or 500 newtons per meter. So entanglement is strong, definitely worth going for. But if you have a PSA, which can easily give 100 newtons per meter, we know that the only objective strength that is there is the surface energy, which is only 0.05 newtons. Where does the 100 newtons per meter come from? It comes from dissipation. Dissipation is really important for adhesion, and although you can get good adhesion from intermingling and entanglement, in fact, dissipation helps both of them. Many people try to get a tough, rigid adhesive system Actually, if it's made a bit more relaxing, a bit softer, you can get much more dissipation and much more strength. We would all like to be able to measure the objective adhesion of our system. In fact, measurement is tricky. It's basically impossible to get at the true adhesion of the system. So it's important to understand what the measures you do are actually measuring, and often they are measuring something totally unexpected. And the reason that measurement is tricky is that adhesion is a property of the system. The adhesion will depend on interfacial bonds, entanglement, dissipation, but also on the mechanical properties of the adhesive and the adherent. It's a very complex intermingling of all these properties. And again, the apps will make this absolutely clear. So if you want to navigate about this space, why not explore it with practical adhesion? and of course the book Adhesion Science, Principles and Practice.